The Joburg to Bloberg 1,000 mile unsupported cycle challenge from Johannesburg to Cape Town just got faster as Simon Rollo rolls into Bloberg in under five days. Ah, oh, I see a light. There he comes. Yoo-hoo. I can't shout either because there's people that are sleeping here. Yo, can you see him? I'm going to run down here. Simon! Hey, well done! Hello! Walk towards him, he's coming up this last little climb. Where is he going? This way! Simon! <laughs> nice doing a lap of honor. Oh my word. Simon! Okay, he's doing. Now you've got the bright lights, so. Well done! Woohoo! Hello. Sorry, I can't shout and dance, but. Yeah. <laughs> well done, hey? <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good and you. Very well. How thanks. are you feeling? Oh, good, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the light in your eyes. Nice, no, it's fine. You have to say words to your fans yeah. and your. It's been a journey, eh? I thought, well, it's pointless leaving it the last 60 or 70 k's yeah. for the next morning and then you waste quite a few hours, you know, through the sleeping part. So yeah, absolutely. Rather just get it done and yeah. the clock stops. So yeah, well done. Hey? And Very happy. The Joburg to Bloberg 1000 mile cycle challenge is exactly that, 1000 miles or 1600 kilometers between on the northern ends, that great city of gold, Johannesburg, and on the southern end, the Bloberg beach in full view of that famed Table Mountain, Cape Town. The idea is to ride the route and you can start at both ends, at, at either end, um, to ride it unsupported, there's a very simple set of unsupported riding rules to which one must adhere if you wish to be part of the challenge. Um, it has to be on a fixed gravel road route, which we've made available, predominantly gravel, should I say, as much gravel as one can find between the two cities without missing too many towns, because given that it's unsupported, one does need a certain amount of resupply and places to sleep for those that like the B&Bs, and so we've included some of the main towns along the route. You can rock up at any time uh, and start whenever it suits you. The clock starts whenever you start from either end and ends when you get to the other end. The Joburg to Bloberg 1000 mile cycle challenge kicked off in April when Paul Erasmus and yours truly rode down the route from the Joburg end. It took a rather pedestrian seven days, eight hours and 39 minutes to get to Bloberg. I dare say we ate and slept probably more than what we rode but a fine time was had by all, and that was the inaugural ride of the challenge. Didn't take long though, till June, just the other day, when Simon Rollo, the Richards Bay Express, arrived with a more serious attitude and rode definitely a lot more than what he slept or ate, and came in to Bloberg four days, 22 hours, and eight minutes after leaving Joburg. Yep, sub five days has been broken already, and that's the benchmark now, sub five days. Simon's ride was fairly eventful. He clocked up some big distances given that most of the time he was on gravel. 286 kilometers on the first day from just outside Johannesburg to Winburg for the first sleep, got there early evening, left them next morning at 1 a.m. for Bloemfontein, early uh, morning in Bloemfontein, ran into some gear shifting problems which delayed him an hour and a half, but still managed to get to Colesburg 394 kilometers after he started from Winburg. Got to Colesburg on the second evening for a quick, brief sleep. He then set out for Victoria West on the third day, past the halfway mark between Hanover and Richmond. 243 kilometer day. It was far less spectacular than the Winburg Bloemfontein stretch, but no less difficult, I don't think, um, battling a serious headwind from Richmond to Victoria West. That is the problem when you're going southwest at this time of year. The wind, wind often comes from a more westerly direction. So much of his time he, he spent battling headwinds during the trip. 
He then did a 293-kilometer stage from Victoria West to Sutherland to set himself up very nicely for a final long haul to the finish on day five, 386 kilometers from Bloberg to Sutherland through the Tanqua Karoo. The day wasn't without its drama the final day. Got to the Tanqua Putstall, the farm stall, the only place in the Tanqua Karoo between Sutherland and Ceres where you hope to get water and food and have a meal. Got there at about lunchtime after leaving Sutherland at three in the morning, looking forward to a bite to eat, only to find that the Tanqua farm stall is closed on a Wednesday. Those are the type of things one has to know about, has to find out. Um, it's part of the planning when you're riding an unsupported ride. Simon was lucky in that part of the world. People are friendly and there was a family coming past in their camper van and they decided to stop and make him a bite to eat, a few sandwiches to keep him going and gave him some water to tide him over till series. Found a great KFC, the first KFC since Colesburg when he got to series and piled in there for his final supper before the long haul through the night till the early hours of the morning when he arrived at Bloberg Beach Four days, 22 hours and eight minutes after leaving Johannesburg for what now is the early, I say early because the challenge only started in, in April, is the early record. Sub five days, that's it. Quite a tough one to beat. Well done to Simon Roller, the Richards Bay Express for what was an absolutely fantastic ride to watch on the satellite tracker. Sub five days, you've set the bar nice and high now, that's the record. And... Hopefully someone will emerge to take on that challenge and try and break that record fairly soon. Should you wish to roll up and take on the challenge, either to break the record or just to ride for the fun of it and complete it under the rules, or even to ride supported and just have a blast, go to Massive Adventures website, www.massiveadventures.co.za. There you will get a rundown of the route, description of the route, the, 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 the details of where you can go to get the, the map and the GPX tracks um, for your GPS, and the simple set of unsupported rules, should you wish to be part of the challenge and get your name on the website's wall of honor, they will tell you what to do. Um, but if you don't want to ride unsupported, if you want to have the bucky behind you and have the snacks on board and just have a blast all the way to Cape Town, that's also okay. This is not an event. This is just a simple online challenge for everybody to have a whole load of fun between Joburg and Bloberg.